Okay, so this is my second video uh, regarding the uh, the ping battery repair. Now, in the last video, uh, these cells were here. These there was four cells, and I've taken them out. Uh, I've unsoldered them. The tabs at the top. The tabs go through uh, little slots in a uh, a small fiberglass PCB. It's just a a little slotted connection at the top. And so what I did is I just used a high water soldering iron and I used my chisel and just heated the connection, let the solder basically fall to the floor and then just pried underneath the tab gently and lifted the tab up and uh, then I was able to uh, get enough solder out to be able to pull the, the cells out. So I ended up pulling all four cells out of this uh, this this part here. Uh, so this is uh, one uh, 3.6 volt 20 amp hour section of this pack. And I uh, just wanted to show you these cells here for a second because uh, I'm not sure if I can get it on here but you can see that the cells here are um, uh, 5.36 amp hours. This last number is the amp hours. And like the uh, the middle, the middle is the, the voltage of the cell charged and uh, the top is the resistance so this one has like a 7.5 um, milliohm resistance and 3.35 volts and uh, 5.36 amp hours so the new cells I have uh, these are the old cells the new cells I have they have a, uh, a slightly higher amp hour. They're 5.53 amp hours. I hope that shows up on this. And um, 3.35 volts. About the same volts. And uh, slightly lower internal resistance. Quite, actually quite a bit. About half the internal resistance. So these should get a, a higher kick. Out of them there should be a... Probably the C rating would be a little higher on these. So First I was going to take out two, I've decided to take out three, so there's uh, the, uh, the new cells and those are the ones that I took out there. Okay, so uh, the next step is to solder the new cells back in, uh, being mindful of the polarity and um, I think I might charge or discharge the new cells down to the same voltage that these other cells are first just to get kind of a rough balance on this pack right now let me back this up a bit right now the uh, remaining voltages are in the range of try to get a, a reading here 3.22 and they're all about that. They're all pretty close to that. Here's try this one here. This one's 3.20, and uh, this one is 3.22. Go at the very end here. See what this one is. This one's 3.25. So I'm going to try to take these ones down. This is the brand new ones here. And uh, right now these brand new ones are probably all already charged up. So these brand new ones are sitting at about 3.65. Right, so, oops, get back up there. There we go, 3.66. So they're fully charged. So I have to discharge these down to about 3.2 volts before I put them in to try to get some kind of a rough balance on this pack. And then in my next video, I'll have it all together and I'll, we'll test it out.